The Warrior Soul Podcast is written, produced, and edited by me, Chris Albert. Our mission is to provide tools, tactics, strategies, and ideas to U.S. military veterans and anybody else willing to listen to help them to navigate toward living their absolute best lives. If you find these episodes helpful, please share them out with somebody that you know of that can use them. And if you really like the podcast, please also head over to iTunes and write us a written rating and a review. It really helps us to spread word about the show, and it really helps to get these tools in the hands of others who really need them. This podcast is sponsored by F-Bomb Nutrition. They make awesome, delicious packets of macadamia nut butters. They mix them up with chocolate, with sea salt, with pecan butter. They're absolutely delicious, and they also have a number of other fat-fueled snacks, like their meat sticks and their cheese crisps. They're amazing people who are sending boxes of this stuff out to the troops on the front lines, and they're offering 20% off to our listeners on their first orders. If you head over to www.dropinfbomb.com and use the code WARRIORSOUL at checkout, you'll get 20% off of that first order. And I'm going to keep the announcements short and sweet today. If you can, stick around to the end. i got a really special announcement about a brotherhood that we're creating here at Warrior Soul. So I hope you enjoy this episode. I hope you get a lot out of it. And without delay, let's get into it. This is Chris Albert, and I'm here to remind you of one thing. Someday, you're going to die. Now, that's not some morbid statement or scary idea. It's a solid fact. Your time here on this earth is limited. We need to be reminded of this as much as possible for one simple reason. To live your best life while you can. This is the Warrior Soul Podcast. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Chris Albert here with the Warrior Soul Podcast, and I wanted to come on today to talk to you for a bit about the important issues we talk about on Fridays. Every single Friday, I'm releasing a Warrior Notes episode. Those episodes actually get released on both Wednesdays and Fridays. On Mondays, I'm talking to somebody who's usually a lot more, a lot smarter and a lot more accomplished than I am. And with all of our episodes here at Warrior Soul, they are crafted with one mission in mind, and that is to get you, to empower you, to live your absolute best life. And we dedicate that to all the U.S. military veterans out there, but also anybody who's willing to listen. Today, I want to talk to you guys about an important aspect of success, and that is embracing the suck, which is something that a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, if you served in the infantry, if you served in, in you know any aspect in the military, at some point, you've embraced the suck. And what is the suck? Well, the suck are the hard times. Those times you've got to go through when things are quite a bit difficult, quite a bit awkward at times because you're you're not certain of where things are going to go. And as most of you understand, it's those times that really make or break you. What you do during those times really determines the course of what the rest of your life is going to be. And because when things are good, we're not really working to better ourselves, right? A lot of times we're, we're more content. And when things are good, a lot of times we're, we're also lazy. We're not trying to push forward. Uh, but it's from that pain that you can actually make something happen. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about this concept. You know, I just got off of the line with Mr. Nick Kumalansos. We did an interview. Um, for those of you who don't know who he is, you need to go and you need to check out his YouTube channel. One of the best YouTube channels out there. He is a Marine veteran. He served in MARSOC, Marine Special Operations. And, uh, you know, when he got out, he went through a bunch of different rough patches. But during that time, he uh, he also started opening up businesses. And, you know, we were talking about the fact, you know, I've, I've been a business owner for 
over a decade now. And we we're talking about those first businesses we opened up. And both of us have stories where we flat fell flat on our faces, right? Completely screwed up because we'd never owned, owned businesses before, right? It was a completely new thing. And we've both had periods where we had to go through times with very little money, just scraping things together to try to make bigger things happen down the line. Now, I want to explain this to you. Regardless of whether you're trying to open up a business or whether you're trying to better yourself or whether you're trying to lose weight or or anything that's important in this life, you're going to go through a difficult period. You're going to go through hard times. That's a fact. It's not an if you go through hard times. You are going to go through a period where life is going to be extraordinarily difficult. And in those periods, you have a choice. And your choice is either to become bitter about it and let those times break you, or your choice is to allow those times to strengthen you, to learn what you can from them, and then to apply those lessons either in another platform or you keep going with what you're doing. Right? A lot of you forget what that's like. We, most of us have gone through boot camp. Most of us have gone through basic training. Most of us have gone through our specialty training. And during that time, a lot of us were okay with kind of being the beginner, right? Because you had somebody who was there telling you what to do. You had people who were going there through it with you. But in life, a lot of times at the beginning, you're going through this by yourself, And that's when it's easy for your mind to take over and to say, oh my God, life sucks. Oh my God, this is awful. Oh, this is too hard. I don't know if I can do this, right? But here's the thing. If you choose to embrace those times in your life with, I like to call it a white belt mentality because I'm in jujitsu right now. and, And I'll tell you, being a white belt, I've been getting my ass kicked all the time. But it's kind of coming in with an open mind that you're a beginner. You're going to get tapped out from time to time. And you can't let those times that you're getting tapped out bring you down, right? You can't let those times when life seems to be kicking you in the crotch, you know, rubbing its armpit in your face and giving you a noogie at the same time, get you down. You've got to use those times to make you better. It's those times that are going to make you wiser. It's those times that are going to make you stronger. The big mistake a lot of you make is you say, oh, nobody understands this. Nobody else knows what I'm going through. And the truth is this. Everybody understands what you're going through. They just don't talk about it. There is nobody on this earth who is immune to going through hard times. There is nobody on this earth who is immune to difficulties. We are all going to face death. We're all going to face tragedy. We are all going to face hardship at some point in our lives. Yes, there is a small fraction of the population who has been born with silver spoons in their mouths. But if you look at most successful people, people who are actually doing things in this world, they have those stories where they've fallen flat on their face over and over again, and they didn't allow their mind to take over and claim victim status. This is the thing, guys. There's a lot of you out there that still have that victim mentality. You might say that you don't. You might, you know, chalk it up to, you might might chalk words up to calling other people victims. You might chalk words up to pointing to certain people on the news and saying, oh, they're complaining all the time. But I look around this compu- this community and I see a lot of us complaining far too much and not doing things to better ourselves, right? You have to invest in yourself. How do you invest in yourself? Well, while you're going through those hard times, you're taking the time to learn. You're, you're taking the chances that you need to take in order to get yourself out there, to put yourself into those uncomfortable positions. The other thing is we live in such an amazing time and place where you can learn so much from others. I mentioned Nick Kumalazzo's channel earlier. If you want to talk about how to be a veteran entrepreneur, he's laying this stuff out every single video, 
He talks about, talks about his business, how he's running his business, how he got started, how he's expanding, the decisions he's making, you know, what he's doing to keep up with his health and fitness while he's going through that, how he's maintaining his relationship with his family, all of these things just on that channel, right? But you have a whole universe of people out there who are also doing this, not just on this podcast, but all around. In addition to that, we could go the good old fashioned way. There are so many books out there that you should be reading. And the thing you, you, you find out when you start reading a good book, uh, a book that really speaks to where you are in life, right? Because again, there's nothing new on this earth. Everybody's gone through these things at some point or another. When you read a good book and it's, it, you have that information hitting you, a lot of times you're like, well, why the hell didn't I start reading years ago? You know, too many of us allow these opportunities to pass by us. And all I'm telling you guys is that no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter how deep you are in debt, no matter how far you are out of shape, no matter how lonely you are, you've all got a chance to better yourselves and better your lives. You just need to make the decision to do it. And I know that's difficult. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to see the light but it's the truth. You got to do it because you only get to live once. You don't want 10 years to slip by or 20 years to slip by and look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh my God, what chances I let slip through my fingers. You don't want that. And even if you are a bit older, you know, I'm 40 years old and I'm still learning so much that I know 50, 60 and 70 year olds who are still putting themselves out there and still trying to learn everything they can. This life is too precious to waste. And this life is far too precious to spend pissed off and feeling sorry for yourself. All right. And that's what I got for this week for all you guys. Um, and when I say guys, somebody said this a little bit earlier in the week. I'm speaking to the ladies too, right? I'm speaking to you ladies too. I, I come from a generation where we use prover, uh, pronouns in a certain way. And I'm trying to get used to all this new stuff. I say guys, uh, when I say guys, I mean guys and gals. Doesn't matter, right? You girls, those of you who are out there grinding, I have the deepest respect for you too. And I want you to, to, to live your best life. Even everybody in between, I want you guys to live your best lives too, right? Uh, or I guess we're at that time and place, right? So without making it any more awkward than I've already made the end of this episode, just want to send you guys a little bit of a note. We've got amazing things going on here at Warrior Soul. Uh, if this is your first time to this podcast, know that it exists to help you to live your absolute best life. And I dedicate that, like I said, to U.S. military veterans, because we've gone through a lot of crap over the past decade and a half. And there's a lot of members of our community that need to be educated on this stuff or re-educated on this stuff, because a lot of you already know it. But we do three episodes a week. On Mondays, I'm doing an interview with people. Um, we have just had Robert Green on the show, the author of The 48 Laws of Power. Like I said, I just interviewed Nick Kumalantzos. Um, We've had business owners. We've had very accomplished CEOs. We've had entertainers like Les Stroud. We've had fitness guys like Ben Greenfield. Uh, I've had so many different people, uh, so many different amazing people. Ryan Mickler from Order of Man. You know, the list goes on. And I do this work simply to empower you, to empower you, to make you understand that you've got the strength within you to become stronger, right? Because you don't have all the answers right now, but you've got the strength and you need the will to go out and seek them. And that's what we empower people with here. If you like this show, if you liked this episode, please head over to iTunes and write us a written rating and review. My mission is to get this information into the hands of more veterans and more everyday people so that we can change this country together. There's a lot of people complaining about how the country is right now. There's not a lot of people actually doing anything. The more we spread this information, the more we're going to empower people to live healthier, happier, and more empowering lives. 
And in turn, we are going to make this country stronger by developing more leaders, more people who are capable of changing it. So if you can, like I said, please share the episode out. Please write us a written reading and review. If you want more content, I've got a YouTube channel. It's the Warrior Solo Gogi YouTube channel. That's A-G-O-G-E. You can head over to YouTube. I've got a whole like library list of fitness material up there. By, by training, I am a strength coach and personal trainer. I worked with a whole lot of different athletes from bodybuilders to fighters to to your average everyday people. I also help people with their health, Uh, not by doing what a doctor does, but by talking to you about some of the things you might be doing and some of the things you might not be doing that can help you to take charge of your body and take charge of your life. So if you're interested in that information, head over to the YouTube channel. We're on Instagram at Warrior Solo Gogi. I'm putting motivating information out there all the time. And uh, beyond that, we've got a whole lot of information up at WarriorSoulAgogi.com. That's again, Warrior Soul, A G O G E. Dot com. Aside from all that, we have some amazing gear. Um, we started as a clothing company and we are still a clothing company. Uh, our print shop, it, it's run by U.S. Marine Corps veterans. And so you're getting gear that's been designed and created by veterans, right? And we've got some amazing skivvy shirts, some, some really motivating shirts, uh, and some funny shirts. If you want to get to that, that's up at warriorsoul.shop. And then finally, I wanted to talk to you guys about our latest project here at Warrior Soul, and that is the Warriors Obituary Society. In some ways, I consider it the most important project. This is a project centered on men. Those of you out there who are trying to live your best lives, but trying to figure out some guidance to find your way. Uh, the reason why I created the Warriors Obituary Society was because I wanted to, again, empower people, empower men to live their absolute best lives, lives worthy of an epic obituary. Uh, and, and we all work with that end state in mind. What's going to happen at the end of your life? What are you going to be grateful for? What is your legacy going to be here on this earth? And what are you doing right now to work for that legacy? When people come into this program, there's an eight-week development program up front, and essentially what we're doing is we're helping you outline a vision, goals, the the overall vision that you want to create for your life. And then from there, we're getting into specifics. We're working on your fitness. We're working on your finance. We're helping people with their businesses right now. And we do this all through that eight-week development program and beyond because once you're through that program, that's when the work really starts. We run everything not on social media where you're going to get distracted and you might have somebody looking over your shoulder. We do it all on our private forum on the Slack channel. We have a Slack workspace. We have a Voxer workspace that we we use to communicate via voice and we're getting together each week on live calls. So if that's something you're interested in, head over to courses slash warrior business academy slash courses slash warrior dash obituary. And I'll put the links to that up on the show notes and the comments in this video. I'm going to get a shorter URL for that, but um, if you can't find it, just DM me over on Warrior Solo Gogi or email me at chris at warriorsologogi.com and I'll get you the information. With that, guys, that's all I got. And, uh, you know, please get out there, make shit happen for your life and live your best life while you can. I am out and I will see you next week.